Welcome back to the world's worst fishing, everybody. <clears throat> I'm, I'm Chris Jones, and um, today we have some normal content again. Uh, my last video, I was out here. Um, it was it was just a random weeknight, and uh, I tried to cook an egg on some of my hot cinco molds. Um, so if you haven't seen that, um, interesting video. And we did a quick little fish cooking uh, recipe uh, vlog or vlog on there. So um, if you're interested in that video, I'll put a uh, picture of the thumbnail up here, link it in the description. Um, today we have another popular colors, and this one I'm pretty excited about. I've been meaning to do it for a long time. This color caught my personal best, my biggest bass ever. She went 11 pounds, three ounces, and it was on a Zoom Horny Toad Watermelon Red Pearl. Uh, it's an absolutely gorgeous color. Um, it took me a while to get it right. Uh, back when I first started making plastics, I couldn't really get the red pearl side of it. Um, but I, I was able to come up with some pretty cool alternatives. But today we're going to show you how to make watermelon red pearl. And uh, But before we get started on that, I got to tell you about today's sponsor. Okay, so our sponsor today is not Coca-Cola or Cherry Coke. I'm just... Uh, I'm really excited. I like these little mini Cokes and it's Saturday morning. So I'm not drinking beer, people, geez. But um, <clears throat> today's sponsored product is this right here. It's a newer lubricant. Uh, it's Super, uh, Fin Super. Sorry, I, I always get it wrong, Super Fin, but it's Fin Super by Interflon. And this is an incredible lubricant. It's not necessarily known um, as a you know fishing related lubricant but it should be and I'm gonna tell you why okay so right away everybody um, a little bit about this lubricant this is um, there there's a couple things here that make it pretty unique first of all is that it is a modified Teflon um, which is not necessarily uncommon however this is micronized meaning that the actual like lubricant itself is teeny tiny guys um what i was told was 0 0.03 microns which is uh by comparison a human hair is about 50 microns um so the idea there is that this is going to get into every little nook and cranny um on your real gears or um firearms um, you know like like for gun lubricant this makes a good gun lubricant as well um, you could use it um, pr pretty much, I, I, I think, anything that needs to be lubricated. In fact, I'm going to try this on my garage door <laughs> because my garage door is squeaking something terrible. And um, <clears throat> another cool thing about this stuff is that the particles are polarized. And what that helps with is um, the adhesiveness. It, it will adhere to, to, the, um, to, to, to the structures magnetically um, and not just by viscosity alone and for any of you guys that uh, that that make baits <clears throat> or do any hand pouring uh, of your own it also I have found over the last uh, couple days just testing this stuff out that it makes a great injector lubricant so that you have nice smooth I mean this is more smooth than worm oil and uh, I did this injector on purpose because it is tight. This is an old Delmart injector, and uh, I mean it is built like a tank. I mean I could, um, I mean I could use this as a meat cleaver. But um, this stuff really, really does a good job. And uh, and like I said, it won't hurt any of the materials. And I mean that is just smoother than the day I bought it. Okay, watermelon red pearl is exactly what it sounds like. It is watermelon and then a reddish pearl. So, Lure Works Watermelon 101, best watermelon there is. I'm not going to count, but if you are wanting a good starting point for a watermelon color, for watermelon red or watermelon candy, 40 drops of that per measuring cup of Plastisol does a really fine job. The color is nice and rich. Um, but it's still see-through and um, and I think it just makes a really good effect and a lot of lure works colors are like that. They're really 
um, consistent across the board. Um, so you can kind of start your formula um, journey with 40 drops of any lure works per measuring cup. And I think you'll get some results that, that look good. And, uh, and then of course you can fine tune it and eventually it just becomes muscle memory. All right, I'm squeezing it in there and that's exactly what I need, perfect, done. <laughs> and, uh, and it usually turns out. Um, so the watermelon side is pretty simple. So even though it's watermelon red pearl, the pearl isn't actually red. Um, so I'm not going to use a lot of actual red pearl. It's still a white pearl base but you're gonna add a little bit of color to make it a little creamy um, and with a red hue to it. Um, so I'm, I gotta get some more white pearl, people. So anyway, we're, it's a white pearl base, at least the way that I make it. And then I like to add violet highlight, which has a purple red sheen to it. So we're really gonna put some of that in there and um, that's what it'll look like right there. You can kind of see that sheen, and uh, and I think that has a really cool effect. And then we are going to add a smidge of red pearl, and I mean a smidge, like that much, actually less than that, that much in the quarter teaspoon. I mean, not a lot, um, because well, maybe a dab more, because we we want it to have a red appearance without actually being red. Uh, if you look at pictures of watermelon red pearl, the pearl side really isn't all that red. And so you just kind of need to blend a few different pearls and highlights. And, uh, and, and I think you'll get something that, that looks about right. So anyway, we're going to keep stirring these in. It takes a while to stir in your powders, but you want to make sure and stir thoroughly. And um, again, this is a measuring cup each. I'm going to put them both in my 900 watt microwave for about five and a half minutes. And that will cook both sides pretty evenly. Um, you just wanna make sure that your microwave has a turntable. That way it will cook them evenly. If they just sit on one side or another, one's gonna get cooked more than the other. Um, that's at least been my experience. So anyway, that's what we have. And uh, I'll meet you back here in five and a half minutes. Oh yes, fantastic. You can kind of see the red, pink, creamy pearl, and then the straight watermelon. So um, again, this is watermelon red pearl. So we're going, I mean, basically we're just making watermelon red. So I like to add texture to it. So I'm gonna use the big black flake. Let me reach around the camera here. All right, so that's the .062, that's the big stuff. And then we're also going to use the medium black flake i'm pretty sure i've done a watermelon red uh video so uh if you're interested in this color um i do i think have an entire video on it so um all right so we're adding both sides of the black flake and then we're going to add the small red the 0 0.015 and uh i am like i like i've said many times i believe in more glitter than less glitter less is always and inevitably less okay so that's what we're dealing with right there those are the two sides of the equation and uh and like i said this is a really really great color it's very natural looking um it's very dear to my heart it put an 11 pounder in the boat for me back in august of 2006 so um yeah check that out watermelon red about as good but basic but effective as it gets so um these are actually quite different in temperature not sure why that is um but nevertheless we'll get them to temperature and um so right now the watermelon side is much more uh warm so we're gonna go ahead and pop the pearl side in for a minute or two and then we'll get back with you all right so we're gonna do a final temperature check we have 355 and about 348, so fairly close. All right, and again, this is a laminate, so temperature does matter. And we're gonna do the watermelon side on top. So it's gonna be the watermelon red laminated over the pearl. Okay. So we're gonna start out with our frogs, the Florida frog. 
Okay, got that one. Oops. Move things around here. Just blending blocks get in the way. Just part of it. Okay, got that looking good. We're gonna do a fluke. Oh my god, guys. Amateur hour. Gonna do a fluke. Alright, got the fluke done. Last but not least, we're gonna try a grass grenade just for kicks. Just to see how that looks. Alrighty. Make sure we top off our sprues. And that looks good already. When the blending block looks that sexy, you know that you've hit a home run. Okay, drum roll please. Maybe we'll try some flam drags. Maybe some flam fives. Oh, lost my stick. All right, here we go. Here are the frogs. Oh my gosh, people. People, 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 people. Oh, ho, 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 Billy, look at that. There it is, the watermelon red pearl. It just does not get any better. Such a pretty, pretty, pretty color. There it is, folks. That's as good as it gets. Ooh, I'm excited. Okay, fluke time. Oh yeah, look at that, guys. Let's get them off here. Yes, sir. Oop, got a little trouble there. Look at that. Just look at it. The watermelon red pearl fluke. Ooh. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Looking good. That is a killer color. Hey, hey. Look at this. I'm starting to think that just about everything looks good in the grass grenade. Check it out. There it is, guys. Watermelon red pearl. What do y'all think? Is this, is this a winner? Have you ever tried this color? Shoot me a comment down below. Let, let me know uh, if you have a watermelon red pearl recipe. Like I said, man, this one will put 11 pounders in the boat. All right, everybody, there it is one more time. Watermelon Red Pearl, like I said, really, really simple color. Um, you know, it, it, it's literally just watermelon red with some pearl. I think the pearl side is the tricky side. You know, how pink should it be? How red should it be? Um, how not red should it be? You know, I, I like to put that pink highlight powder in and, um, and then just a little bit of red pearl. But mainly, it's still a white pearl. It's just a white pearl that kind of glows red and I think it blends really well with the watermelon red um, you know and, and as you can tell it lightens the color of the watermelon um, when it's blended with that uh, white whiter pearl color so I, uh, I think it's an absolutely gorgeous color tell me what you guys think also any more color ideas please shoot them my way well guys that's gonna wrap it up for today hope you have enjoyed this episode um, this is a really great color, so definitely give it a shot. And, and let me know how yours turn out. Send me emails with pictures. Uh, I'm, I'm happy to talk plastics uh, pretty much with anybody. But um, hey, I think that's a winner. Um, I haven't made it in a long time, but uh, I'm glad that I've kind of refreshed myself with it because this is a great color. And like I said, a watermelon red pearl frog put my big girl in the boat for me. So uh, I'm forever grateful to this color. But uh, anyway, that's gonna wrap it up again for the day. Definitely check out the Fin Super. This is cool stuff. Uh, it really helps on my injectors a lot. Uh, so that's something to keep in mind for all you home tackle craft guys. But uh, anyway, that's Watermelon Red Pearl. This has been a popular colors uh, from World's Worst Fishing, and we'll catch you next time. Well, yeah, I had to. I had to, I had to uh, give these a bath in the worm oil in the bag, because that's just, too too gorgeous right there all right that's gonna wrap it up today guys